Yo, I'm getting ready to put y'all up on something, man. Yo, when you see something ill, you know what I mean? That shit is woke. Anything ill you see is woke. Nigga, have a big six at the curb. That's woke. We have to confiscate your life, bro. You went to the ATM and bought 200 or pulled 200 dollars out to get 201 at a regular bar like it's a strip club. And then, who the hell is that? And that's brutal. He was throwing ones at the bottle girls. He was throwing girl ones night. at the bottle girls, bro. Like strippers, bro. Like, who does that? Wait, where were you from again? Where, where's that one from? Where, bro, that, the mean, one that was doing the one shit, where was he from? Flint. Uh, there you go. Uh, 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 the fuck the water, the lead. That's what's fucking him up. The funny thing about it is the girls that was out there acting classy was picking them up. Picking them up. Ooh. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> it was Six, the fuck. Who the hell is that? And that's brutal. He was throwing ones at the bottle girls. He was throwing girl ones night. at the bottle girls, bro. Like, <laughs> bro. like, who does that? Wait, where were you from again? Where, where's that one from? Where, Bro, the one that was doing the one shit, where was he from? Flint. The fuck the water, the lead. That's what's fucking him up. The funny thing about it is the girls that was out there acting classy was picking them up. Picking them up. Ooh. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> it was Sit the fuck. It was the lead, yo. Went over there, give me my fucking dollar back. <laughs> I think at one point in time, Eric was throwing ones when he didn't have $200 yet. And I said, how much money you got right there? He's like, I got 10 I said, Kimball would call you a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? You, wrong with you, what you, think? you were at a regular bar. They probably in the Uber right now having the same conversation. Bro, these motherfuckers asked me for 200 bucks. Like, <laughs> 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 fucking idiot. <laughs> That's fucking shit, bro. So, g- give, me the, give me the go around. Like, what, what does everybody do? And, and, I'm uh, a logistics guy. Here you go. Yeah? Logistics engineer? Yeah. Is that like a special way so you work in a warehouse? As you work in a warehouse? No, I do on the road. Like the oh, okay. So okay. I All right. do all the data and schedule them out. Oh, so a bro- you like a broker? Like TQL? That type of shit? I work for Ryder Company. I work at Coca Cola. Oh, I'm a cow yeah, developer. I, I Are you fucking sick? You work at Coca Cola? Yes, sir. I just love Coca Cola. Those fucking bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, you yeah. may have to get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I got, yo, I got a bunch. Of, yeah. I take that back. I got, I got a hey, bunch of coke swag back. in the fucking back, bro. I'll be right back. What were you doing for coke? I was actually a lead on their, uh, on their second ship. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all a funny ass picture, man. I just got on these motherfuckers and, and blasted them online about uh, hey. the dock was underwater. I worked for Coca Cola Consolidated. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's who we so, work for. So we CCBCC. Work for. So like Tanner and Marty and all them motherfuckers. So all the what the fuck? Yeah, Are you serious, bro? Yeah, bro. Dude, I worked. I was the fucking supervisor inside the building. I was like, sure. Hell yeah. All the the like warehouse and shit. Yeah, the yeah. fucking uh. So you knew Tom Sutton, Dave. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Denny got fired. Get the fuck no, out of here. Denny I would have never. Oh, yeah, Denny quit. She didn't like that they were moving her office. She said, fuck this. She I don't was, want that little she ass was office. Pissed. They were moving her office and they were trying to, like, set everything up different. She, she ain't like it. She said, fuck you. Said, fuck you. Yo, see, I, I used to work for that bitch ass Lee. Lee, Lee, Lee Nobles. Lee, Lee Nobles. And motherfucking Drew. <laughs> punk ass Drew. Drew Peterson. His little Drew fucking Peterson, bitch. Yep. His little. I'm sorry. His, his oh, little you're fucking bitch. Right. You good, bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me, let me show you this. I just blasted him on there. So, check this shit out, right? So, that's the picture that these motherfuckers, every time it rained, the motherfucking dock, we'd have to pull them shits. So, we would be in two feet of fucking water for 10 hours of the day. Damn. Get the fuck out. You see, you see these fucking trucks, right? These are the fucking box trucks, right? Right. And, and these motherfuckers, so, one day, it was like that. It was fucking real bad. And, uh, yo, my fucking shoes were wet. My goddamn pants were wet. And my socks were wet. So I, but, uh, so, I, I go into the fucking break room. The shift is over. We loaded everything. You know how fucked up we We don't stop until it's done, right? Right, yeah, exactly. So these motherfuckers, this motherfucker is going to come to me the next day and say I was stealing time. I said, uh, I kid you the fuck not, yo. I've worked for Coke. I have no fucking counselings, no write-ups, no nothing. I said, I'm stealing fucking time? I said, dude, my fucking, the, the dock was underwater. It's like that all the fucking time, and you're telling me? I looked at him and told him to get fucked. Listen, listen to this shit. So they called me in the fucking office, right? I, I'm a grinder, man. You know what right, I mean? Yeah. I, I I got a landscape of business, you know, shit like that. I cut grass whenever the fuck I, I drive, whenever the fuck I'm I'm not busy. So he says to me, You're you're stealing time and you know, we gotta write you up. I said, What? You gotta write me up for fucking what? I said, Well fuck, I've never had a write up. I said, You don't have to do shit. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it easy for you. I'm gonna leave. Right. Six fucking years. He's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. 
And then because they don't expect that, they think they yeah. think they think they got you. Yeah, but this motherfucker, man, bro, all oh, they bitch asses, bro. You man. know how they be having those conference calls? I went off on him the other day. It was like Curtis, your voice, or for some AD. So they was like, your voice. Is this, this, and this? And I was like, well, the reason I got those voids is because y'all don't got the product. If y'all got the product so I can send it, then I don't feel like I should be getting fingers pointed at me. I was like, y'all know what y'all should do is, at the end of the day, y'all need to take responsibility for y'all own problems before y'all start pointing fingers at other people. I told them that straight up. I was like, I didn't be here a year and eight months, and at the end of the day, I ain't going to take fault for some shit that ain't my fault. See, but Period. it's way deeper than that, right? Yeah. So, so... <laughs> These motherfuckers, they all they give a fuck about is the sales, right? Yep. Oh yeah. So so they'll fucking sell shit they don't have. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you you go to the store. We have outs in the fucking building. They don't want to admit that they have outs because they gotta keep their their service level up yeah. to like you know whatever over ninety percent or whatever the case may be. So they tell these motherfuckers we have it or we're gonna get it. So they say, you know, you got these motherfuckers at the plant. Without so, fucking question, these man. These owners at the plant ask, where's my glass coat? Dude, for bro, six there years. Ain't nothing in there. Dude, dude, we ran out of 20 ounce 20 one time. Ounce, bro, when we Are ran you out, fucking kidding me, bro? You probably was there when we ran out of two liters. Yes. Bro. How you run out yes. of two liter coat? This motherfucker's talking you about. You coke and you run out of coat. Dude, How is that you, run, <laughs> you run out of fucking coke classic. You got a problem, yo. And 20, 20 ounce, the most selling fucking thing you have, you run the fuck out you of. You run out. Man, I, I told fucking, and then, you know, they would come to me, and I would blast. And Leah be tripping every time you send him that email. Leah's a bitch, man. Bro, Leah's straight like, up bitch. Bitch. Hey. Bro, Philip be cutting into his ass. <laughs> Philip sent us a, hey, Philip sent us an email the other day. Philip Bradford, he sent us an email the other day and said, he just looked at Lee, he says, Lee, I ain't gonna lie to you. At the end of the day, we need product, and if you're gonna be the warehouse supervisor, I'm gonna need you to order more shit. If you ain't gonna order more shit, I'm gonna need you to retire for your job. See, else <laughs> bro, hey, like, what did he do? He started. He he didn't, didn't say, say shit, right? Shit. I know. He didn't say shit, He's a fucking bro. bitch. I was like, Philip, don't fuck around, bro. Philip be like, I'm I'm pretty chill and subtle, but I'll call somebody out. I said, bro, you from Louisiana? <laughs> Listen, this motherfucker used to come in. He used to come into the warehouse. You know how I was a GM for Costco for like ten years, mm -hmm. right? I was a plant manager for, I'm old as fuck, I'm 47. I'm, I'm from New Jersey. That ain't old, bro. Nah, I'm fucking, I got two girls in college, man. Yeah, you ain't old, bro. So, so. You old when you like 75 or <laughs> But as right now, you still in your prime. Yeah, yeah. You still sticking, sticking. Dude, I play, down. I'm all fucked up, man. I played, uh, I played football at Rutgers. The joints are fucking hurting, man. So, th this motherfucker comes, he, when you leave a position, right? Uh -huh. Because he was lead prior to me being lead. But when you become far removed from the position, you forget how the operation day to day works, right? Right. So this motherfucker, he he kind of forgot what it took to facilitate the end result. So th th this dude comes on the floor. And he's like, "How come we're not doing this, that, and the other? Bring your fucking ass out here. Show me how the fuck to do it, then." Right. You show me how the fuck to do it. You hiring motherfuckers that we fired for time and attendance. And you hiring them back. Hiring them back! Oh, listen, listen, listen. There's a driver in this dude, Austin. Cool as hell. Cool dude. But sucking his job, bro. This motherfucker left the box truck in the middle of Cottageville. Left it. Got an Uber home or That's back awesome. to the branch to get his car and went home and left the truck with product on it. And they hired him back. Incoming Dude, drivers. We had a motherfucker. They hired him back, bro. We, we like, had... What the fuck? If you leave, I'm going to tell you right now, if I own a company and you leave my truck in the middle of nowhere with product on it. Dude, I mean, if you quit, if you walk off the fucking job, you're done. You're done. I ain't never hired you back, bro. You left us stranded, G. Dude, <laughs> Dude, this motherfucker hired a dude and we fired him because four consecutive Saturdays he didn't come to work. I kid you not. And they shocked was... when they don't come to work. Listen. And then he quit again. The motherfucker quit. But but see, here here's the crazy shit, right? So one one fucking Saturday, I was in there until we started on Saturday at 4 p.m. I didn't leave until fucking Sunday, 8 o'clock. I built personally 125 fucking pallets, yo. God damn. Dude, but I get it done like that, right? Hey, but I've always been like that. Time, though, G. Listen, you, that, you, know, you, you, you so, so, so listen, so, so, so in the fucking meeting and I sat down with Drew and fucking Lee, he says to me, what, what do you think I got? I said, dude, this is a no conversation.